Alright, hey everybody, this is LMP Games, and welcome back to episode 13 of our First Impressions um, series. Season 1 of that series. Um, today we'll be checking out King of Fighters 15, the first fighting game, not the last fighting game that'll be in this. Um, figured it's about time to get one of these in, and been meaning to check this one out for a while now. Um, this came out last year, I believe, 2022. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I pretty much watch every, I watch all the trailers that came out for it, all the character release trailers and everything, so I'm not going into this entirely blind, I played KOF for ever, um, first KOF I played was, uh, uh, King of Fighters, um, 99, 98 or 99, one of those two, <clears throat> way back in the day, and I played pretty much every KOF since then, um, to some extent or another, I don't, I don't play, you know, competitively on these games. The only real fighting games I play competitively in have been Guilty Gear, uh, Killer Instinct, and um, Street Fighter. Everything else has been kind of been like, you know, story mode or training or what have you. Um, yeah, I'll be checking this out today, seeing what it's about, and uh, uh, we'll probably won't get through. Like, I'm gonna. The thing with fighting games is that I don't really care about the story mode so much. Um, so, this is going to be kind of an interesting first impressions episode, because, um, one, we're not really going to touch the story, so I'm not going to rate the story, and the, uh, I'm going to say art, art category as well, it may or may not be included, I don't know, we'll have to see, um, but, so, fighting games are, are much, much different than any other games you've done so far. In terms of, like, what you would expect out of them, or what you would look to to, to get a general idea if it's good or not. Um, in the case of fighting games, what you're looking at is game mechanics. That's, like, your, your overall um, major category. And that's really the only category that really, really matters. Um... <clears throat> As far as what game mechanics you're looking for, though, it's a little bit different than what you would think of other games. Um, so for game mechanics, you're looking for systems that allow you to make your... You know, to build your own kind of unique play style. Um, like, a lot of game, a lot of fighting games, they'll have, like, optimal combo paths and things of that nature that... Um, you'll see everybody in their end use, you know, online and competitive and all that. They'll, they'll do, you know... You know some chain of moves and they'll only do that chain of moves with some stuff in between to link it all together um because it's like optimal it gets you the most damage for the least amount of uh potential you know uh potential um uh, counter and it, it's yeah you know, it is what it is if you've watched people play competitively or have played competitively you know what i mean um at the same time, though, the game shouldn't be built around that. So the game should have other things allow you to do things that are not optimal. Um, a good example of a game that doesn't do that very well in a newer game is Guilty Gear Strive. Um, they really reduced the system down a lot to try and make it simpler for, for getting newer people to start playing. Um, and to be honest, I think that's the exact opposite of what you should do. Because if you make the fighting, uh, make a, a fighting game's systems shallow, there's no reason for people to keep playing after a certain point. Um, the, the, there's this whole thing going on, and if you've watched Maximilian Dude or any other FGC content creator over the last four or five years, you'll, you'll have heard this argument before. Um, there's this whole thing about how, oh, oh, people aren't playing fighting games anymore because they're too complicated. They, they don't want to, you know, people can't play them. Like, the whole reasoning behind neutering Guilty Gear Strive was that um, Guilty Gear x was way too complicated for people to learn, which is couldn't be further enough from the truth. Um, the problem with Guilty Gear Strive was, or not Strive, uh, x was, is that it was just a one niche game. Guilty Gear is not a very popular game series. I hate to say it, Guilty Gear friends, but we play a relatively unknown fighting game uh, franchise. Um, and, you know, Exert was, well, Exert brought in some new people. Exert was a massive victim of that as well. Um, Strive has brought in a bunch more people, though, I will say. 
it did bring in new people because of the marketing and the the attention it got right on twitter and stuff but it they didn't attract those people because the gameplay was simple matter of fact i think probably by now a lot of those people have actually found excerpt and are playing excerpt now um, i would not be surprised excerpt is superior to strive in a lot of different ways um and it's unfortunate because strive is a pretty good game but um it it takes the systems and it makes them way too simple it moves like the, the gatling combo system and limits what you can do a lot of the characters are um tuned in such a way that they their negatives are hyper um uh stated or hyper um uh yeah they're, they're <clears throat> first and forefront the negatives are in place like for example if you play chip good luck uh us chip us chip mains got royally screwed up the arse with the stride because they made chip extremely extremely low health uh, to the point where two potemkin busters are dead um and there's a lot of characters that do a lot of damage so Chip is basically almost a uncompetitive character in Strive, which is bullcrap. Um, I mean, you can make it work. But you have to work your ass off to make it work. Um, so, game mechanics are huge in, in fighting games. Um, if you're looking at the next level down, though, uh, I would say it's probably going to be audio. Um, you know... You get into a, a match, you get a certain song that pops up, and you just get into a flow, and you go, essentially. So music's probably another good kind of uh, level two kind of thing to look at. I would say art can be level two or level three, depending on what you what you are looking for in a fighting game. Um, but definitely uh, gameplay, then maybe audio. Um, story modes usually don't aren't that good. I mean... Look at uh, look at Marvel Infinite. Look at the start of Marvel Infinite. Um, yeah, MVCI. Um, not not a good story mode. We did not need to have scientist Ryu forced upon the world. Um, there are some funny games that have good um, story modes, like say Injustice. Um, the problem with those games is that the story mode takes more precedence than the actual fighting game part of it does. And that's the other kind of thing with story modes and fighting games is that it's usually either um, just a lot of fighting or it's a lot of story. Like Guilty Gear has no story mode. Guilty Gear has a movie mode. There are at least the modern ones. There is no fighting in Guilty Gear, x or Strive story modes. It's all just a movie. Um, if you go back, you know, Guilty Gear X and X2... Uh, they kind of had story modes, but it was more like the traditional fighting game story mode, where it's just, you know, a series of, of, of title cards in between fights. Um, then you get stuff more like, um, uh, fate, you know, um, uh, Undermoon Knight or something like that. What is the... I can you clear. Um, under, uh, under... Oh, that's what it was. Um, under Knight and Birth. Um, which are and like um, uh, Arcana Hearts, Blaze Blue, that have more of a connected story, and they kind of have a better balance between the fighting and the story. Um, but fighting games are, are notorious for having really rough story modes. Um, I think the the one that had the best story mode that I played is probably Persona Four Arena, um, Ultimax, just because of how that's structured. Um, Persona 4 Arenas is cool, but it wasn't as good as Ultimax's uh, story mode was. Um, just in the, like, the presentation, how it actually worked. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and load this up. Enough, enough jaw wagon, and let's have a look. I am playing this on a PS5 controller through Steam, so um, just to be warned. Uh, I also uh, am one of those weird people that does not use the um, analog sticks for fighting games. I use the D-pad because I find that that's just a lot easier to use. Oh, I need to uh, do something. KOF 15. I did not get it there. 
Oh, because it wasn't full screen. Okay. No, it's still no. Interesting. Um, what is going on here? Let me check the. Let's see if we can get the. Uh... Let's see if we can get this to work here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. Um, 4K for finding games is perfectly fine. You're not going to run into issues with doing it. Unless they're. I'll have to adjust the audio in the video when I get there, so I have to reduce the... I keep forgetting when I make these new audio channels for these uh, games that we're doing to go back in and before I start start recording them to like drop the, the volume slider down. Um, <laughs> second time I've forgotten to do that now. Um, I mean, all this stuff is fine. Uh, system... Game... Interesting. All right, we're gonna go and start with uh, training mode. Uh, why is it asking for two player on training mode? Now, what is going on here? How do I what is what is going on here? How do I button config? I don't care about that at the moment. I want to I'm just okay, here we go. That's weird. Um no. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick a character here. Um, God, KOF. Who do I main? I usually, well, Terry's an obvious one. Um, I mains have been Terry, um, Rugal, and uh, Iori over the years. Um, I've dabbled in K and uh, uh, what's his name? This dude, um, Joe, a little bit too. But. Terry is definitely Terry is definitely my main. Um, I guess my technically could be could consider to be one of my mains as well. Where's Andy at? We'll have uh, let's do the training mode against Andy. There he is. So let's see how this game feels. I don't know why it, like, wanted you to do two players, though. Like, player two should be just a normal computer. So I don't know why it's, like, asking for two car two players for. This is so weird. <clears throat> How do I, where do I set the computer uh, options at? Oh, whatever. Okay. Buster Wolf. Uh, rising tackle, what's that? What is rising tackle? It's supposed to be a charge, right? 
Um. Oh, it's a Z motion now. Wow, okay. A little bit of lag there, interesting. Maximum, okay. It feels, I don't know, it feels like there's less combo potential. Like in between, it feels like there's less cancelable moments. Maybe if these are like specific. Um, there's only like specific moments you can do it now. Also, it's, they're getting some like weird hangs occasionally. It's very interesting. The special moves, power wave, charge, uh, power charge, power dunk. Uh, power Geyser, so that's back quarter forward half. Or Buster Wolf. Uh, Stardust Ignition. So back quarter forward half, punch and kick. I'm guessing you have to be in max mode. For that one. <clears throat> Let me, I need to look this up. I couldn't make this work. I need this to be NPC at this point. You can only go so far once you like once you know a character well enough playing it for a while. You only do so much by just playing against a uh, uh, computer standing in place. So KOF 15 CPU in training.
Weird, because <clears throat> I'm not seeing any option. Ah, here we go. Okay. Throne, okay. Okay. It does. It plays a little bit more like you know, Street Fighter uh, Five does. It's like more focused on um, repose than it is on attack. Like reacting to things that happen, as opposed to giving you a bunch of tools you can use for just fighting. I don't know what this lag is about. Shouldn't be happening. for that. Did they change? I wonder if they changed some of the uh, timings. Because it feels like I should be landing some things that I'm not able to. I wonder if some of the frame data changed. Yeah, if you're trying to run in, you're just going to do that leap move that he has. Oh. Wrong button there. <laughs> Not with punish on that is damn. I think that's always that's always missed. It's always lost to Andy's uh, 
overhead kick. Or whatever the hell that move is called, I can't remember at the moment. Oh, there's a roll button, okay. I know that the roll had a button. Oh, well, it actually crosses up. Interesting. So you can roll underneath that. It's almost not reactable to do it, though. I can roll back, too. Nice. Yeah, if I'm doing finding games on these, I'm not going to be very emotive and talkative in the middle of things. Um, Terry feels okay. I'm going to go. Not going to go through every character. I'll probably play every character that I've named, <clears throat> at least since um, KOF. Uh, uh, since you know. Before KO, KO 13. So, Terry feels okay. Um, let's uh, switch over to May. Or Mai, rather. Interesting. There's a lot more lag going on here. What's going on with this game? It's not like lag lag, it's frame stuttering. Maybe it's the stage. Or good to see my, I don't know. My does have a lot of extra stuff going on with her model.
<laughs> and blow up. Nice. I only got that to hit. Let's see what else we got uh, on her move list here. Um, Ukahane, uh, Ko uh, Kokaku no Mai, Shinkakotobi, um, So charge down up left or up right. Uh or back. So it's a it's a jump in kind of thing. Um Musasabi no my front or back. There's also an air version of it. So let's see, Cho Tosatsu Shinobi Bachi. Uh, Kagero no Mai, that's someone we did earlier, the big one. Um, or was it this one? Maybe it was this one. Kuzunoha? It might have been this one actually, the super move. Climax super move. Oh, okay. So that's not work. Ah, okay. That's the uh, dodge move, I guess. Get out of the corner with it. Oh, Fanfo's just, uh, forward, okay. Thought there was another version of it. Huh. Yeah, it seems like it's a pretty much just a finisher move. You can't really go much after that. I got a few linkers into there. There might be like a really tight linker on it though. We just have to figure out what it is. Kalef is notorious for tight linker. Uh, linker and moves. A linker is essentially a move that can connect one, uh, one combo to another. And Kalef has some really insane ones that are like, like literal almost frame linkers, which are insanely hard to do. It's one of the reasons why <clears throat> KOF 13, I think it was 13, maybe it was 14, I think it was 13 now, was like notorious for, you know, breaking controllers and giving people carpal tunnels because the inputs are insane in that game. Ah. I actually hit him with it at that time. Nice. Okay, yeah. My feels my feels more my than Terry felt like Terry. So that's cool. 
All right, let's uh, switch to um, let's see. Let's switch over to K. K feels way different from the last time I played him. The moves are kind of similar. Move set is and the way they work. But overall, though, it feels more weighty than the last iteration I played of them. I can't remember if that was 13 or 14. I think it might have been 13. Quick mode. So K has a different type of max mode, or do they all have that? Quick mode. I didn't really pay any attention to the trailers that talked about and events that talked about the mechanics of this game. I more looked at the um, character trailers. I think it would learn by now if I jump on Andy, he's gonna do that move. More likely than not. Man, he throws a bunch. A bunch. Yeah, that. What is that kick? I don't remember that. In previous games. It must be like some sort of anti-air, obviously.
Winston the Max Smuggler. Let's try um, King next. We'll try another two characters after King. She wasn't necessarily my main, a main of mine, but I have used her quite a bit in the past. Interesting that the mist. Actually, we'll do three characters. I want to check out Iori, um, and Leona, and one other. Actually, no, no, four, because I have to do, uh, um, uh, Rugal. I want to check out Rugal. Holy hell. Yeah, I don't know what this, like, micro stutter is about. It's not really a micro stir, it's just a stutter. It happens every once in a while. It's just one move I'm trying to remember. Um... Oh, okay, that's the hit. That makes sense. I was like waiting for that extra bit of it to pop out and never did, but I actually have to land it. That's right. Wait, that's not a punch. Or is that, was, is that oh, a punch kick? Okay, punch kick. Uh, can't remember half her moves. Uh, oh, it's a Z now. Trap shot. I don't know if it's always been a Z, but I don't remember that being a Z before. Um, she really has a very limited move set, though, compared to some of the other characters. It's kind of weird. That's kind of unfortunate, though. So not every character has that full move set, uh, move set in the roster. That is very unfortunate. Like every character should have had the same number of moves. Period. There's no reason to do that other than just being lazy as hell. Nice. <laughs> Got it down finally. Okay. Uh, that's enough of King for now. Let's uh, switch over to Yori. Are Rochi Shermies in this game? Interesting. Um, oh, Kim and Shingo are... Uh, 
So they're not part of the DLC, the season passes. That's weird. All right, where are you, Yori? There you are. Yori Igami. They've hit his wrist super deep, man. I don't know what I, what I, how I feel about that. I guess they all have a quick mode. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, interesting. So the roll is not always a roll. For uh, Yori, it's a low dash. I kind of like that though, because it makes it. It's you know, it's it can be uh, tuned to the character. So that's kind of cool. Gives them more personality. It definitely feels a lot slower than other renditions of him, though. I think it might spe specifically the Marvel vs. Um, uh, Capcom vs. MSNK2. That's where I first uh, played and picked up Iori as a main and on the uh, GameCube. Feels like he's missing some moves. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of their chain deck shit together now. Okay. Yeah, there's some. Maybe maybe he is missing a few though. So Shiki, Alehana, one, two, and three. See, those are like chained together. So you gotta do back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, or uh, back quarter, and then so it's like chain one, two, three. Uh, Kusukaze, that's, uh, forward, quarterback, forward, what the hell? Oh, it's quarterback forward, basically. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's the grab there. That's what I was looking for. That was the short grab. Because he, he has he had this move where you can grab him, throw him on the ground, and essentially blow him up that way. Um, so that was that. Um, Shiki Sumakushi. Uh, Sumakushi. The Z, the Z kick. But do all the moves have a, uh, an e like a stronger version on the, the strong kick, a strong punch? Maybe? This is super. So I don't remember that for anything. Um, that's kind of an interesting one. So it's a quarter forward, half back punch. Oh, that? Is that it? Okay, yeah, that is the one, I guess, yeah. That I've been doing. What's the other one? That's quarter forward, or quarter backwards, so the opposite direction. Oh, is it that? Okay, I guess that makes sense. I know that's what that was. But this one was normal moves. Okay. The one thing that's like kind of annoying about modern fighting game, fighting games, is that when you do the supers, they, you don't often get like the the screen changing thing, so it's hard to tell what's a super and what's not. Like back in the old days, when you did a super move, it would like make the screen go dark and have like camera effects and things. And these days, it's more like it's it's more kind of like enchained in line with everything. And then it's only the real like these kind of things that are. I think I have to be a max mode for this though. Okay, um, let's switch over to uh, Leona. I picked her up in KOF 13. She has like a bomb thing where she throws bombs, I think, right? Let's have a move like that. Um, explosion. Uh, so, earring bomb heart attack. So, it's back quarter, okay. Ah, okay. That V, that V attack is pretty good. Um, what is that called again? Uh, v slasher, yeah. Saber uh, slash saber is back core, quarter, 
half pick. Wait, did I do that? Did I say that right? Is that really what it is? Back quarter, then forward, yeah. Half. I mean, I have to have a meter for that. This is doing the bomb. Back, forward. Kick or heavy kick. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think it was a timing issue. Peace Slicer's just so easy to get into, though. It's kind of annoying how easy it is just to fall into that. It's like a natural extension from the aerial stuff she can do. I missed it though. I'm gonna at least make this land once. Come on. There we go. Got it. Yeah. What's the, uh, I don't know if we get the, uh, ultra hyper special thing. Um. Oh, it's basically that, but punch and kick. Okay. We got a blade. I wonder if that one is supposed to be a, like, a homage to Sony Blade. Is that, like, uh, <laughs> Leona Blade?
That nah, wasn't it. I don't think. It has to be heavy. Let's see, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, who, let's do, let's see, two more characters, we're gonna definitely do Rugal, um, let's go find him. Rugal, where are you? Are you even selectable? There he is. Well, that's the, um, Omega Rugal, is there a normal Rugal in here? No. Do you have normal Rugal or is this Omega? Yeah, it's just Omega. Now we're gonna do Shermy. That'll be the last character we check out. This genocide cutter. Oh, there it is. Okay. That is so much damage. God, this stupid move takes it all the way across the map of the, uh, the, the arena. So he does have some 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 places where he's weak, though, right? He's not very mobile. Better Pukin. I don't know if uh, Mega Rule is the boss in this game or not, but it feels it kind of feels like it. That damage he gets. I didn't feel like he has many commands. I guess he has, he has a couple, yeah. The Pukin, Vanishing Rush, Genocide Cutter, Dark Barrier. Um, yeah, not a whole lot, though. Not a whole lot, though. Okay. Feels like he should.
super cancels. Okay. We can do super cancels. Probably been doing them the entire time, so I haven't noticed the thing come up. But they're called out. We'll have to try arcade mode uh, before we end the 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 first impressions video. Here. But first, we gotta go check out Shermie. Uh, there she is. She has like a, a forward roll somersault thing. I didn't even check to see what, uh, what the other character said on the roll. Keep forgetting about that. It's different for every character. Okay, got our aerial or uh, anti-air stuff. That gets an air grab. Getting a lot of lag, or a lot of uh, stuttering in this match for some reason. Yeah, that air grab is Andy's worst nightmare. Once again, it feels like she has less uh, moves. Let's see. Share me stand. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Share me exposition. A cell spin kick. I think we've seen most of these, yeah. Okay. Let's, um, do one more. Um, let's see. Let's check out. I kind of want to do the... I think it's, uh, which one of these characters is the one that's, like, the character from this game? It's her and one of... I think it's her and... and Crohen? Cronin? Cronin, too, maybe? I think there's two characters. I think I had a male character and a female character. I know her, she is the female character. Ilsa is the female character, but I think he's the male one. 
Or no, here it is. Shue. Uh, Shune is the one. Everyone, take that back. I don't know. I don't know which game he's from. Maybe fourteen, because I don't really play fourteen all that much. Um, Dolores. But of these two, her stuff looked more interesting to me because she has like those arms, right? Um, he just has the generic stuff. Or was he the arms and she the the spray paint one? Let's we'll find out. Yeah, she had the arms, yeah. Okay, she is she is hella zoner. You can already tell just from those few moves right there. Oh, she had the arms and the, the spray paint. Okay, both of them. That one just sounded a little bit weird. Interesting. She has like Iori's dash kind of. I wonder if there's like a certain number of those and they're distributed among the characters so they have, you know, like Iori and this character and maybe some others have this, this forward dash kind of thing. Pretty sure she just kicked Andy in the dick a bunch of times. Every single one of those hit. Trying to just learn as much as possible without looking at the move list. That's how I learn all of the new characters that try is just see what they can do.
Let's move what's like here. Um, cloud designs, fill in. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, linked ones here. Holy hell. To front, break, throwy, ABC, piercing, ABC. Interesting. Those should all be like hit and then go and go and go, right? Maybe it's a time, maybe it's a precise timing. It doesn't feel like it continues though. Unless you have to input the same. Weird, okay. Well, that's what the um, uh, challenge with this where I was learning a lot of stuff. Okay, let's go next to training and we'll do a, um, we'll do a uh, arcade mode run. If there even is such a thing as arcade mode. I see a versus, but I don't see arcade mode. So there is no arcade mode. Interesting. We got story mode, I guess. This is about as close as you can get to uh, arcade mode, I guess. All right, teams. Something we can't really test too easily in. There's actually some characters that are locked still. I wonder if you have to unlock them through the game. Or they're still going to come out. Maybe those are new characters that'll be coming out. Um. Orochi Chris, Orochi Shermie, uh, Nakaru, uh, Darley Dagger, Mega uh, Gato, Orochi Yashiro, uh, B. Janet, or Coward, uh, Rocks in the game, uh, Ryuji, I forgot about that, uh, Ryuji, Yamazaki, Billy Kane, Geese Soward, Business geese. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Maiten, uh, Maiten Kun. Weird character. Um, forget what game Maiten Kun is from. Benny Maru. Uh, Ash, Elizabeth, uh, Kukri, uh, Kyo, Yori. Chizuru, K Dash, Maxima, Whip, Whip, uh, Ilsa, 
Hi, Darren. Or, hey, Darren. Dolores. Uh, Dolores. Clark. Ralph. Leona. I wonder if they're related. Hey, Darren and Leona. I wonder if they're related somehow. So, the you know, last name is the same, apparently. Kind of interesting. Yuri. Of course, my Athena. Got, the, Athena is the biggest troll in uh, one of the earlier games. I forget exactly which one. Shermi. Uh, Yashiro. Yashiro. Uh, the non Orochi, right? Uh, King. Robert. Rio. Joe. Um, Antonov. Ramon. King of Dinosaurs. Crowen, Kula, Angel, Blue Mary, Lumessa, and Luong. Alright, um, I think we're gonna do... Let's do some cards I haven't used before. So, let's do King of Dinosaurs. Um, we'll do Angel. Angel. Actually, I've probably used Angel in the past, but not a whole lot. Um, and who else have I never used? I never used any of the Orochis. I can't imagine that you know, Orochi Shermie would be any, any much more different than regular Shermie. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about this character at all. Giant saw blade, though. Uh, for opponents, let's do, um... Rock. Um... Blue Mary, and we'll do uh, Palmar. Forgot, I didn't even know. I didn't register with that. That's who was up there from uh, Sam Chu. Um, let's throw uh, Benny Morrow and the other team. Uh, the order. Um. Uh, this is Xbox controls, and I have a, a, a non-Xbox controller. So I have no clue what my, any of my characters' moves are. So it's starting out from zero, basically. God, this stuttering is insane. Okay. So this guy's got huge um, damage on him. God. Sorry, Rock. You got uh, Dino. Some kind of. Uh, masked wrestler, though. Okay. So I'm guessing my character is.
manages to pick a pretty powerful character for him. I wonder if the uh, computer AI is turned really low, too. I probably can't change that from here, though. Because the AI feels really easy. Like, I'm just sitting here and it's not really doing much of anything. Now we can change that. Try to go back up to the main menu. <laughs> Ending a screen. What the hell? Guys, like, go and whack him. Um, let me go back to the main menu. Or, I guess we could try to match settings. But I think we could change them from out here, too. Uh, options game. That was set to three. What the hell? Usually, KOF AI is pretty intense. All right, same same people for me. Uh, who, oh crap! Who was the other one? Angel and. Oh, her. Now let's choose a different uh, team for the opposing team, though. Um, let's go with Terry. Um, we'll do... Leona. And... Be Janet. This is on the hardest um, AI setting. Okay, good. There we go. Very months after feel of this character. 
Like I'm gonna see Animal Stranger. Interesting, okay. Damn, okay. Interesting, okay. So the moral of the story right now is that Leon is just really hard to fight. Super fast character. And a game where speed is your most powerful weapon. It's interesting though is that um, the bomb doesn't like go away like you normally would see um, when you hit her. Alright, let me go and pick a team that I'm familiar with now. Um... I'm not going to pick, like, all mains, but... Leona's definitely going to be on that team. Um, Kia, where are you? Let's do a random team. Oh god. That is a that is a lineup over there. So Geese is up first, huh? I think he's pretty good in this game.
Wait, does Geese have counter state stuff now? God, that throw. That roll throw. That's a good way to punish rolls, though, is just to throw them at the, end, the very end of it. Crap. Crap, okay. Okay, Geese is pretty, pretty insane in this game. Alright, Kia, let's see what we can do with you. Oh, okay. Those throws are insane, though. That missed. Interesting. Kia, what happened to all your stuff? How'd that miss? Weird. God damn it. Was that a double KO? I think it was a double KO, but it lost because it was my last character. That's hilarious. God damn it, Geese. I'm gonna fight that again. Geese is too powerful. He's supposed to be dead, for God's sake. Got turned into a zombie. Oh, we got an entirely different enemy team. Interesting. Okay. Uh, raising tacos gonna get me so many trouble, so much trouble here. Damn. They must have changed Q up quite a bit, because none of the stuff that I know from the past is working with them now. There's so much frame stuttering going on, holy hell. Revenge. <laughs> One more try. One more try here. AI, you know, AI five is pretty difficult though. It's like you look at memes about. There are like memes about how hard KOF level, uh, rank five AI has been more. Damn, Taco. I hate the fact that Taco's on uh, Z now. So annoying. It should just still be a charge, for God's sake. Why'd that change that for? Damn. And for 
Freaking AI is punishing all those rising tacos. Oh god, that's too early. Okay, I deserve that one. I rolled in and then I didn't follow up on it. Damn. Okay, so level 5 AI is where it needs to be, though. 3 is super easy. That's so weird. The difference between 3 and 5 in this game is insane. we can rate this game here now okay so um let me go ahead and i'm gonna put on uh we're gonna we're gonna do something in the background here So while, while we're talking, we'll let the AI do stuff in the background here. So, ratings for this game. All right. So, gameplay-wise, um, I think it, it's KOF. You know, all the stuff that's should be there is there. Um, it, it's, you know, it's a thing where some characters get less movesets than others do and might have lesser movesets than they had in the past. It's, it's a normal, crappy thing that happens in finding game sequels. That's super annoying, and um, I don't see it changing though anytime soon because who knows really knows why? I don't know. I really don't know why he would have characters in this game with like three or four moves when you got characters with like ten or twelve, just to make everything as equal. You know, let's say like strong boss characters, then I would see like maybe you would do that. But that one I was um, using earlier. Um... Oh hell, uh, King. Uh, there's no reason for her to have that small of a moveset. Um, but overall, uh, things still feel like KOF. Um, you know, you got meter system feels right. You got the, the, the max system is still here, max mode is still here. Um, you got quick mode now, it's kind of interesting. I think that's new. Um, things feel a little bit more weighty, you know, a little bit slower for some characters. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, overall, I'll give this game a seven and a half out of ten. Uh, gameplay mechanics, um, art. Let's, let's see. So art design. Um, so far, all the characters I've seen look pretty good. Um, they didn't overly redesign anybody. I don't think they um, tried to keep them as as close to those characters as possible. I think at the end of things. Um, stages all look pretty good. Um, the move, attack, animations, and stuff look good. Um, I will say that KOF 15, since we got B Janet on the screen right now, the character animations in this game are insane. Um, the fact that it's in 3D, they can do all kinds of really crazy stuff with the uh, character models. 
that they couldn't do in the past, which is like, well, they could do in the past kind of, but not as easily uh, with the more of the traditional kind of 2D sprite-based ones. Um, yeah, characters all look good. The area, the stages look good. Menus and stuff look okay. Um, the UI is a little bit, a little bit simplistic, but that's okay too. You don't need a really hyper crazy, insane type <laughs> spell. Um, double knock it. Uh, knock down rather. Um, you don't need like a crazy looking UI, you know. Sometimes finding games trying to go too far on that kind of stuff. Like I'm looking at you, Blaze Blue. Um, so yeah, I'd give this game a seven on on art design. Um, sound design. Uh, yeah, what can you say? It's KOF. You got the character themes. You got sound effects. Um, like all these flame sound effects sound pretty good. Um, and what else really is there to say? Uh, things don't sound too out of place. Uh, you don't really hear much of the announcer. Um, which is interesting. Interesting, uh, change. Actually, I'm gonna go back to gameplay real fast. Um, I wanna drop that down to a... 7. 7.5, because of all the, the frame stuttering going on. And I think it's... I don't know why. It might be because I'm using OBS to record at the moment, but... Um, that's kind of a weird thing. I don't think that's a... That shouldn't be, like, a common thing here. Is it going to change both themes, or just one of them? Oh, it changed both themes. Okay. Oh, it changed the winning team. Interesting. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It changed the order. Okay. Um. I wonder if, um, you choose random for the characters. If it chooses random characters, if you choose to fight again. Because it did that for the, um, uh, opponent when we did the last round. Which is interesting. Yeah, so back to um, sound design. Uh, I'll give this game a 7 for sound design. It's pretty good. Um, you know, average for fighting game. Um, story, we didn't really do the story mode. Uh, story is not really a huge part of fighting games either. Um, so I'm going to rate that as an NA for now. Um, so, overall. Overall, I'm going to give this game a 7 out of 10. I think you can't really go much more than that. Everything's around a 7, right? Um, things are the way they should be, pretty much. Um, I don't see much room. That's probably the base, right? Seven is the base. Um, so it won't go below a seven. Uh, but there's room for improvement as we go through. And also, story mode, uh, once that gets into the mix, that'll add in some points, too. But yeah, overall, it's a decent fighting game. Um... We haven't tried like, the online or anything like that either, um, yet. Eventually they'll probably get around to it. Um, and we'll see how that goes. That'll that'll affect the uh, gameplay score, depending on like how good the netcode is. But yeah. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Um, the next one we'll do of these is going to be probably... Uh... I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know. I don't have anything in top of mind that I would do for the next one yet. Um, but uh, we'll see what we'll pick up here. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Comments, questions, leave them below. Appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.